Will they be able to go back and find it? Uh, let's see. I go to the other one. Are you live? I am definitely live, but no one knows I'm here. I've come to another channel, so I'm going to try and let you all know. When I tried to restart, it just ended the live. So I'm going to try to let you know that I have now started a new one. I don't even know how to do this. You see, I'm really not very good at lives yet. Okay, I'm trying to find the chat to let everybody know. Let's see. Oh, some of you have found me. Yay, I can finally see your comments. I'm not alone anymore, <laughs> talking into nothing. Do you think that any of you could let the other chat know that I'm here? Because I feel I just abandoned everybody on the other side. Uh, do you recognize where I am? Hi, oh, you're all over the world. That's amazing. <laughs> so someone spotted him. Okay, you can come in. You've been spotted. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. How do we, what do we do? Do we just speak to the people? Yes. Can they, can they hear us? Let us know any questions that, that you would like us to answer. I've come here to Baminye to collect Michael. And we're going back to Lalan together tomorrow where we will start working on our new channel. Yes, we've got a new project to start on. So we uh, we need to get on with that pretty soon, actually. So. Yeah, we have a first place to go and film, but we won't put anything live uh, until we've actually filmed a few different chateaus and we've got a few things ready. Yeah, we need to finish that off first, but um, but it's, it's in the making, so it's going to happen soon. But um, yeah, just watch this space. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I can see all of your comments coming in. How's the chimney I just seen? Uh, chimney, uh, you'll have to wait till Sunday to find out. Yeah, that was a real cliffhanger mm. that it ended on. Fashion stylist, is there any way, do you know, to tell people on the other chat that, that there's a new link? Um, I don't know if I can do it from here. Oh, you can actually see the chimney just there. Oh, is that the chimney? That's the chimney. That's the gardener's cottage just there. Okay, uh, so in fact, just there. <laughs> just there. Yeah. There it is. That's the chimney. Uh, it's still there, but it's it's a bit touch and go. Well, you're giving something away because it's still standing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but can we go in the building? That's another matter. I haven't actually had a look round yet. So tomorrow, do I get a visit? Yes, you're going to get a tour really? tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. And that'll be in Sunday's vlog. Yeah. So you're having I haven't a Sunday told you vlog? That. I'm just having a Sunday vlog this week because Amazing. A, a lot's happened this week. And... Um, well, I'm a bit behind with the vlog. I was going to put one out in the middle of the week, um, but there's just been so much going on. And um, so I'm going to put, I put one out today. I hope you guys saw it. If you um, if you didn't, go and check it out after this. Um, and there's going to be another one Sunday. But I haven't edited it. I can't <laughs> edited it. it. <laughs> well, I you'll haven't... have time for Sunday. Oh, we're traveling all day tomorrow. So you'll be editing Saturday, in the car. Saturday night. No, I, I don't have a laptop. I have to do it at a desk. So I'll have Whoa. to edit it Saturday night. night for Sunday. Yeah. We pull a lot of all-nighters with editing, both of us. Yeah, I haven't actually slept since yesterday. Really? I woke up, yeah, I woke up Thursday. It's now Friday. Yeah. Uh, I haven't slept because I was awake all night doing the video. Editing. So uh, I never <laughs> sleep Thursday nights, just so you guys um, know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have you. a look at some of your questions. Have you encountered any unusual challenges you didn't expect in juggling chateau work and a YouTube channel at the same time? Uh, first? So much because um, normally when you're doing a task like uh, restoring something or, you know, you just get on with the job um, and um, you don't have to think about, um, oh, did I film that? Um, the guys need yeah. to know what I'm doing and where I'm at. Um, but then when you have to film it, uh, it, it gets a bit more tricky. Um, it gets quite choppy. Yeah. And it's actually like doing slows, a little bit it slows then... you down quite a lot, I think. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Someone's been super generous. Lodovico. Oh, well, oh Lodovico. I was just chatting to you on the other one. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much as well. Um, you, you, uh, on my I, live chat earlier, you yeah, donated yeah. one as well. I can't believe it. Thank I you so much. I tried not to give the game away that we were actually in the same room when yeah, we were, we're in texting the same room. you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I find it very hard as well at La Land. And I think that it's only because of lockdown that both of us have been able to actually focus on our YouTube channel so mm -hmm. much because before we were really full time in both places on working on the chateaus because you would have had a lot of guests here. You'd be helping course, to run yeah. that. And we had like uh, a lot of weddings last summer and the year before. So we're always um, preparing for the next one and things like that. But this year we've got no guests. Uh, mm -hmm. All the weddings have been postponed until next year. Um, so it's literally just 
we've got to find things to do. I mean, obviously we're going to have to keep maintaining the place that doesn't stop, but um, like, you know, this is, it was, it's crazy that the lockdown actually gave me the opportunity to start a YouTube channel. Thank goodness. So although it's been really awful for a lot of people and it's been awful for us as well, but it's also um, been a, uh, a bit of a blessing in some ways as well. I'm not sure. Well, I think quite often the dark cloud has a silver lining. Yeah, it always has a silver lining. In yeah. this case, it was definitely you starting this channel. Yeah. And for me, I was able to go from making two videos a week to making five videos a week, four on YouTube and one for my Patreons. So that that's just transformed everything. And I think that I won't go back to running the bed and breakfast full time. Um, luckily, I think someone will come and help with that as well. And there's so many of us at Lailand, usually when lockdown isn't over, that we'll still be able to do the bed and breakfast. But I want to carry on making videos because I've really enjoyed it. Where is mummy today? Mummy is, of course, looking after Lalande. So it's the first time my mother and I have been apart since the beginning of lockdown. So for over two months, we've seen each other every day and she was not happy that I was coming today. Oh, really? I'm only gone for 24 hours. Yeah, it was quite, quite a big I'm break. excited to see her, but also slightly terrified because she, um, she you know, rules with a, an iron rod. Yeah, yeah she does. <laughs> she does, yeah. You'll get there and then you'll realise you're making one video a day once my mother's in charge. Yep. She'll be she'll cracking be the whip. Cracking the, yeah, cracking <laughs> the whip. So. Oh, and thank you so much. I'm like Cocoon. Thank I you. I love that name. That That's is very brilliant. cool. <laughs> this feels a bit like a cocoon. The gang actually. is back together. So, uh, where are the comments? Yes, yeah, sorry, I haven't been, I haven't been keeping up with the comments. Um, um, will Scottman come soon? Um, I hope so. Yes, very much so. So he's got another three weeks of treatment to go and next week he's going to give us an update because he's a quarter of the way through now mm -hmm. and then he's just got to speak to the um, consultant and find out when he can come after that but hopefully very soon after that and thank you very much also amazing name boy meets Wart. i recognize Wart. that one from boy before. meets Wart. thank you so much thank you that's that just amazing i can't believe how like just so generous people are it's so nice yeah because of all of you we're able to make these videos full time and it's completely transformed our lives mm -hmm. and it's transforming the chateaus i can't say that enough i mean la land it's just so different what's happening there we had 15 years of at least admittedly there was some progress because we did all of the unseen jobs all of the wiring the plumbing fitting bathrooms but then we sort of came to a bit of a standstill especially after my father's death when mummy met percy and then nick moved back to england and michael was in the, the Netherlands and I was alone at the chateau and I really had absolutely no money at that point not to the point that I wasn't going to be able to eat or that we'd be kicked out because we couldn't meet mortgage costs not that at all but just that I couldn't do restoration and it was frustrating I felt that we were moving backwards rather than moving forwards and that's just turned around now because of all of you and because of YouTube and things are happening really fast I mean I'm just so shocked at the transformation uh, of La Lande um, <laughs> since uh, the YouTube has really taken off because, I mean, obviously I've known you for, is it a couple of years now? Is it two years yeah, or one year? Yeah, at least, no, at least two, two I think. Two years. Yeah. And obviously I used to come to La Lande, um, you know, the place was running and there was, but there was no DIY happening. There was no restorations happening. There no. was nothing. It was just, it was a standstill. I mean, it was a lot, it's amazing. But if you get, if you get the chance to come to La Lande, you have to, because it's just the most magical and amazing place in the world. And there's nothing like it. There's nothing else. No way else like it's it. It's a happy home. It's very happy. Sandy's asking if the 100 kilometer restrictions have been taken away. They have been lifted completely from uh, tomorrow. No, day after tomorrow. Yeah. But in the meantime, we're allowed to travel if it's for work. And so I'm allowed to come and pick up Michael. I need lots of forms to prove that it's for work. Lots of paperwork. Or something to do that I can't talk about at the other end. Um, but... For the rest of the country, if it's not for work, it's lifted from Monday. Oh my goodness, I've got so many people to thank. This this is incredible. Seriously, you are so generous. Thank you so much, Darren. Just amazing. Michael needs to get his room ready uh, at the chateau. Yes. Yeah, we've been talking about that. Yeah, actually. I'm really excited. Yeah, we've been looking at wallpapers mm -hmm. and trying to come up with lots of ideas. I like it because it's got those sloping roofs and the really weird shaped doors. Yeah, the doors are like little sort of coffin shapes. Yeah, but I yeah. actually really like it. Um, and there's a bad alcove. Yeah, and of all the rooms at La Londe, I've always 
I've always liked that one. And I actually have only ever stayed in it once. But yeah. I've, every time I've been there, someone's already been using that room. It always I've, gets nabbed. Always, it's the first room to get um, taken and it's, it's above the kitchen. I think that's and, why. Yeah, Everyone wants to why. be near the food. <laughs> and Maria, Maria, thank you for a guilt-free summer dress. Do you know what? We're going to go and find me a summer dress together with that, Michael. Yes. Because the shops are opening from next <gasps> week. Oh, they are. Amazing. So we'll put a mask on and gloves on and we'll be able to go shopping. Yep. I actually, I went to Ren, I think it was two, week, two weekends were ago. Were they open then? The shops were open, but um, when you go into the shops, um, they have stations uh, and they usually have a security guard that makes you, well, obviously you would anyway, but they make you clean your hands with hand gel and they make sure you have your mask on. And a lot of the things in the shops you can't touch. Um, I, I went into the, um, the fragrance department and I picked yeah. up a bottle of fragrance to try it. And the woman ran over and she was like, no, 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 no. She took it off me and she ran away and wiped it with alcohol. So they're very, very strict. They're, careful. they're very, very careful. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. It's good because suddenly everything's opening. So it's good if it's like yeah. controlled. Yeah. And... They're very, very, they're very controlled in France. They've kept, um, they've kept it well. Managed. I'm worried for mummy, obviously, because mummy's mm -hmm. 78. So I want to make sure that. She said she is. I know. I thought she was younger. No, 78. Really? Yeah. Wow. She's good for... She has she's, a lot she's of done energy. Well. She's done very well. <laughs> and Barbara oh my goodness thank you so much as well so everything that is not from Maria that's not for the summer dress I can tell you right now is going into mummy's garden because everything that comes in from the patrons goes straight to mummy and is being used in the garden um there's a question here what is the difference between a historical estate and a chateau historical estate i'm not sure um what, what would you call it what would you define a historical estate uh, i'm not sure well chateau i was looking up recently and there's obviously manoirs in france as well and a chateau is generally one that was lived in by nobility mm -hmm. um especially the nobility that ruled that that part of the local area under the king mm -hmm. and um that's the case Bamenier was lived in by nobility mm -hmm. and Lalande as well and so they had the official title of chateaus so some of them look smaller sometimes but um it's often because the original chateau burnt down and they built a manor house but it's still called a chateau because it was on that same spot mm -hmm. and made by the family yeah I mean this is not the original chateau this yes, is actually it. only it was well it was started 120 years ago the reconstruction um but it was finished about 100 years ago, this one. But there was a chateau, um, exactly the same footprint, but it, was, uh, it wasn't as tall. It was a lot, a lot shorter. Um, and that was lived in by um, one of Na Napoleon's generals, I think. That's amazing. Yeah, Napoleon's general. There's actually a fireplace in there that, was, that has Napoleon's emblem on it. So I think that's the, from the original chateau. So we are here in a home that one of Napoleon's generals lived in. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Chris. Oh, that's lovely. Hi, I am a patron of Michael and my husband, Andrew, is a patron of Steph. Oh, I thank recognize you, the name. You. I recognize you. Hi, Please, thank could you, you so much. Please, could you both do some more cooking baking vlogs? Well, I'm really hoping that the minute Michael arrives at Lalande, he's going to make yes, that rose cake. I'm going to make that. Do you have roses? We do. Well, I'll make the rose cake then. Yes. <laughs> but I'll do something different as well. Okay, something, something new. Before, something so. new as well. Yeah. Uh, the video quality is better because it's exactly the same setup for me. It's just that uh, we're on 4G here and at Lalande we're only on our Wi-Fi. So it's the upload speed that's so bad from Lalande. Yeah, you don't actually, in the chateau, you don't have a phone signal or any 3G, 4G, any internet at all access. No. It's just the Wi-Fi and you have to go, and it's really you have to go up the road to just yeah. get a phone, yeah. like, to make a phone call. We're in what's so, called a zone blanche in France, which is a white zone, and mm -hmm. we basically have no coverage at all. What flowers did mummy choose for the garden? And I see that mummy's here. Hey, mummy. I'm missing you already. See you tomorrow. Is she here? Uh, she's here, yes. Where? Um, she was just writing earlier. And thank you, Karen. This is amazing, just amazing. I, I bought lots of plants this morning for my mother and oh actually mummy would do better to say the names because I'm not very good at the names but everything we chose was good for cut flowers and they're for the new beds oh, in the vegetable hello. garden well hello well, it's cat. like James Bond here this is the naughty cat and that's Dr. No that sleeps on the oh no you're allergic to no, cats that's right <laughs> that, that's kind of okay <laughs> and um Calliope Calliope is a good name say hi 
Right, she's going to go now. <laughs> Uh, so yes, we've got lots of flowers that are all going to be cut plants, and the ones I'm most excited about are alliums. You know, the really, really tall, I love those big round with the purple. Ones. Yeah, yes. I love those. I would love. They kind of, of remind me of the flowers you get on chives. Well, actually, I think chives are allium. Oh, hello. Calliope knows how this, to make an entrance. This cat is a show off. Anytime there's a camera, she will be there. Yanis, that is so unbelievably oh, generous. So I kind. can't believe it. And good luck with your exams. Did you say you were seven through or five out of seven or seven exams in? Anyway, it sounded horrific and reminded me a lot of when I was doing exams. And I'm very glad I don't need to do that again. And thank you so much, Catherine, who's looking forward to the gardener's cottage. So am I. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm, I'm can't wait. I, I'm hoping to have it done by Christmas because I want to cook the Christmas turkey in the Arga in the kitchen for the chateau and um, that's my goal we don't know if it's going to happen or not but it'll happen it's just there it's, going it's to just happen. there yep just there so tomorrow we'll have a wander around it and then also whilst you're at la land you can at least be working on a lot of the plans for it yeah i need to do a lot of um uh, plans and things of like the layout where things are going to go things like where the wiring is going to go the plumbing mm. things like that so i can do that from la land on paper Oh, the structure is so exciting there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be wonderful. I'm sorry, we're really behind on, on the questions. I saw one. Have you finished the robe? I haven't actually started it because I wanted to do it with you when we are together. So we're going to actually make it. I've got the silk. Oh, you gave me the silk. Wanted me to leave the site. No, we don't want to leave the site. I don't want to start another one. Yes, yeah, so What's you've that? got the silk for the robe. Yeah, I've got the silk for the robe. Haven't so... started it because I, I want... Like we started it together, we did yeah, the plans and yeah. everything, and then I came back. I was like, "Oh, I'll make it on my own," and but it, it wasn't as fun. Well, like, why don't you bring the salt back? Oh, I've got it. Yeah. It's, okay, and then yeah. we'll we'll work on we'll work on that robe because I cannot wait to see him in that robe. Who was who's the other guy on on Instagram who's so amazing? Pinsent is Pinsent, it? yeah, Zach. Pinsent. I've been looking. I don't know Zach Pinsent at all, but I've I been looking him, at actually, his clothes. On really, yeah, his clothes are amazing. Yeah, you would look so good dressed like that. I've got so many people to thank. This is just How thank long is you, Michael all of you. At La Lande? I, I, I think maybe about two weeks. I'm not sure. Maybe more. Maybe less. I don't know. I don't want to be away from Bamigny too long because I've got so much to do here. But then I also and there's the vlog as well I here. I haven't been able to see Stephanie in so long that. Yeah, it's. We'll see. We'll see, see how it goes. goes. We'll see how, how it goes, goes on the vlog front as well, mm -hmm. because also it's going to be really strange. For the first time ever, there are going to be two people vlogging the same life from the same chateau, but through two totally different eyes. I think mine will just be mainly B-roll, <laughs> <laughs> romantic, just music, heart wrenching, slow mo shots of everything, <laughs> and mine will be mainly everyone just laughing. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, all of you. Really, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Sabina. Oh, so many questions. I've been terrible. You see, I miss you, Mummy, because Mummy's very good at keeping track of the questions and not letting me oh, witter Percy. on too much. Percy Atfield. Hello, Percy. Hello, Percy. We miss you. Thank you very much, Michelle. And thank you, Rescued and Recycled. Just incredible. And Jen, this is just... And Jen is sending California poppy seeds. Oh, what are they? Are they the are they the orange ones? Are they the orange ones, Jen? Are they the orange ones? I don't know what California poppies are. I know poppies I love. I'm, I saw an aerial photo or satellite photo of California at the moment, and it was just orange. Really? Like, I'm, I'm sure they said it was something to do with poppies. So maybe they're maybe. orange poppies. Or is that maybe? I don't know. I like poppies because they're in August and my birthday's in August. So as a child, I always associated the two, like excitement mm -hmm. with poppies. Right. Let's see if I can find another question. Yes. Orange. Yes. Ah, Yay, we're right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, evolved bless. Is that evolving? Oh, evolving mommy bless. asked if Michael has a metal detector. I do have a metal detector that we don't use. You're joking. Yeah. We, can we borrow it? Of course you can borrow it. Well, Mommy? actually, it's not mine. It's Billy's. Okay, let's. Billy? We'll ask Billy. Is, I'm sure Billy's watching. He's probably Billy. In a can we borrow somewhere. the metal detector, please? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. Yeah, we could go into the old lake bed. We used it here, and we um, we found loads of coins and things like oh, really old fun. coins and bits of metal, uh, bits of old. Um, what did we find? We found like old 
antique door handles, like nice ones though, and no. things like that. Stuff that was from the chateau that's just made its way out here and been buried. Okay, mummy, that was a genius idea. No gold though, but we I'm sure they're sure there's some somewhere. There's got to be some somewhere. Uh, do we know of other chateaus for sale? Actually, that's something that we really want to focus on in our mm -hmm. new channel. We would like to visit chateaus for sale. Uh, I don't know of any specifically, but I know that there the are a lot for sale in France. Oh, there's loads. Always. Loads and loads and loads. In every price range. So if anyone is looking for a chateau for sale, you will find them. And I think it would be really fun for us to go and visit them and yeah. show you what's available. Hello. Is that a metal? They're bringing us a metal detector. You're joking. Look. <laughs> <laughs> The magic of YouTube yeah, happens are, that fast. Literally, you ask for a metal detector and it arrives. It's here. That's incredible. You yeah, I was watching it live. <laughs> <laughs> we are on it live now. I'm and you it found live. it so fast. If we'd been at La Land, it would have taken us years Hello, to find it. So this is Ryan. Ryan was in the video with me today, if you saw it. Hi. Oh, Billy, that's my brother. You know Billy. Hello. And is that a metal detector? There you go. Take it with you. Really? Oh, can and we this buy it? is. Yeah, um, of course you can. Thank yeah. you. And this is the one for locating things like more precisely yeah i think we're not quite at that bit yet <laughs> so you've got metal detector there you go so exciting right i'll leave you to it thank, thank you. you very much <laughs> do we use it now that's amazing <laughs> ryan is hot ryan apparently you're hot <laughs> <laughs> who said that who said that is he single Daughter, is he single? Daughter wants to know. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ryan, there you go. There you go, Ryan. Um, we'll put the email address in the comments. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I'll leave you to it. Oh, a hundred euros. I can't believe it. Oh, who's that from? Anne, thank you, Anne. Oh, thank you so, so much. Kind. Oh. I'm, I wish I were with Mummy because she'll be celebrating in the kitchen at La Lande right now. I know, Mummy. Thank you. Oh, I love the fact that you're waving. <laughs> Someone's saying, why am I waving? Um, and someone is asking, did Selma or Nick leave? No, everyone is still at La Lande. I just came to pick up Michael and we're going back to La Lande tomorrow. So everybody is still there. I love the fact that you're all all over the world. That's so incredible. Back as well. What is your new channel going to be about? Do you want to explain that, Michael? My new channel? Our new channel. Oh, our new channel. Yes. Ah, can I tell them? Yes, I think so. Oh, well, we've got two in the works. Um, one is uh, going to be a little bit where we go and visit stunning chateaus. Uh, maybe chateaus that are not open to the public. So we're going to be getting some behind the scenes access to privately owned chateaus, things that you won't see. And we have a couple of really exciting uh, places I've got a lined good up. one lined up I've got a good one lined up yeah very famous chateau owner yeah can't tell you but I've, I've been in contact and also we would like to go and see um chateaus that are for sale so more like a property program so we'll go and we'll visit these amazing chateaus we'll give you the full tour um show you around and we'll tell you um like the work that needs doing how much things are going to cost you know mm. things from our own experience yes. um and just kind of give you sort of a, an insight into what's available and what prices things are because i mean everyone thinks um i'd love to know you know i'd love to go and buy a chateau but you know what's available know. how much is going to cost what like, to look for where to look yeah and so, I mean, for us as well, it's a brilliant excuse to carry on looking at chateaus because oh, it doesn't matter yeah. that we're living in them. It's just a complete passion. Yeah. I could just look at them all day and they're all so different and there's something magical about each one. Especially going and seeing one that, that needs saving. Yes. There's something about that, isn't there? Yeah, like, there, just, there is. It just pulls, doesn't it? A oh, sort of semi-abandoned chateau. And yeah. Just imagine it looking beautiful and mm -hmm. how it could be. I do want to also say thank you so much, David and Summer Lalande. David and Summer Lalande. Yes, that is their actual surname, the Lalandes, and they are Marquis and Marquis of Lalande and my patrons. And they have donated and said, if you don't already have one, here is something to start a fund for the swimming pool. <gasps> and I don't have a fund for the swimming pool, but that's going to start. I it. have someone that specializes in building swimming pools. Are you serious? My father. No. He uh, specialises in building... Well, Look, we've got the metal detector. Can we fit your father in the car as well? Uh, uh, well I have to go and find him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, yeah, yeah. That's wow. what he used to do. He used to build swimming pools. A lot, uh, he, my dad's been a builder. Um, 
he's 70 is he 75 but he's been he started uh, on building sites when he was 15 and um, started like being mm. just as a tea he's boy so, lucky. so he's been in the trade for years so apart from like building swimming pools and building houses and like everything anything you can think of so he's the one who assessed the chimney and I'll t- you'll see about you know what happened on um, Sunday on Sunday yeah well, I think your father should definitely come and look yeah. at the area where we're going to put the pool because we've been we've been planning that. Uh, someone says, please go and interview the Gio family. They're amazing. All the sons have their own chateau. Is this for real? There's a family where each son has their own chateau. Okay, let's go and... Yes, yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to go and meet them and if you find guys ha- If you guys have any suggestions for chateaus that we should visit, um, yeah. we should definitely like put them in the comments or send us an email or something. I'll tell you what. Someone says, pool party at Lalande. Stephanie, yes, when the pool's done, pool party at Lalande. No, I, already have, I already have the outfit. You have the outfit. Well, I, do you want to run and get it and show? No, us? no. I, I bought like it's quite a sixties inspired. You know, like the the silk shirt that's open, and then you have like the trunks, like the long trunks, not the short yeah, ones. Yeah. Like, um, it was on sale, so I bought it. And what's it? What the, what's the fabric like? It's like um, it's not silk, but it's like a rayon, you know, Amazing. and it's got stripes, vertical and stripes, uh, red and blue. Are I you think? going to bring this to Lalande? I, but, haven't got a pool though no but we can but stand got, you where the pool's going you've to got go. a moat and you've got a fountain. fountain i won't get in the moat but i could get in the fountain okay that's it okay it, you heard that here right that's oh, happening no. i've got to get you've in the just fountain said, now oh my goodness i've got so many more people to thank this is amazing hundred dollars <gasps> twenty dollars ninety i can't believe it really i can't believe it alice allen oh that's so alice, kind of you alice alice is a marquise of la Lange. is she yes Alice, you will see a pool when you come. Uh, you might need to give us just a little while to work on it, but it's going to happen. It will definitely happen. And Kristen, thank you so, so much. Um, I, your generosity, honestly, it, it changes everything for Laland. Absolutely everything. And we're very excited because I think this week we'll well next week thursday anyway mm-hmm. we'll be starting work on the courtyard around the fountain and that's going to so be tell huge. me about that um, i mean i saw it in the video was it yesterday's or was I think it, it was day yesterday before, yesterday's video and you talked about that you're going to start um yeah because there was the box hedges around the pool it's under terrible. there we had the same problem we had um, yeah. a lot of stone under where we put the box hedges mm. and they just didn't grow yeah so you need to a bit deeper area and there's an interior designer in canada who's working on a beautiful scheme so very soon we will be we'll be doing the courtyard somebody likes your heavy lifting michael oh everyone loves michael's heavy lifting i know so much heavy lifting <laughs> uh and yes selma and diesel are going to be staying on longer at Lalande. i cannot speak afrikaans no i'm sorry i can't Oh, we're getting lots of ideas for other chateaus to visit, which is really, really fantastic. Can you save oh, these chats? And Jethro's asked a few times, what's your favourite piece of um, furniture in the chateau? or what, an antique? This one or yours? Uh, well, go for, go for this one. My favourite piece of furniture in the chateau is um, my desk. It's not, it's not particularly valuable um, or grand. Um, and it was, I think it was about 300 euros um but i absolutely love it it's a desk and it's got like a slope top and it opens down and you've got little drawers in it and you've got drawers in the bottom Mm. and actually something um i discovered when i went to beatrix potter's house in the lake district is that her desk is identical no identical but it's a different wood hers is like a a mahogany or Mm. like a darker wood and mine's more of a like a walnutty color yeah but um it's exactly the same design almost the same and you had no idea i had no idea and but i love that desk so you and, and it reminds of hers now. so we me and beatrix potter have the same design desk like purely by coincidence but i love that desk and uh, also the the trunk the trunk that was oh the by trunk's incredible that was in the room that i stayed in yeah. here once yeah yeah th- there's an incredible trunk in the chateau la bamini you vlogged it didn't you yeah. once and i think i had it in one of my vlogs yeah, as well yeah, you did, yeah. which was part of the baggage train of king louis the 14th i think or 15th. the 14th maybe 14th. or the 15th it's no, beautiful i think it was the 14th we're not sure we don't it, we don't know if it was his personal things that were put in it but it was part of his entourage mm, um yeah and i think gwendolyn's father found it just by chance quite not wasn't expensive like it's just amazing just was at so the right place such at the right a time. lucky find uh how many people live in your chateau michael 
we've got um, in the chateau, we've got me, uh, Billy, Gwendolyn and Ernest. Uh, my brother Justin's here, but he's a bit shy, so you won't see him very often. Um, my sister lives here. Uh, my niece, Olivia. She's right there. She's just sat here. <laughs> Say hello, Olivia. This is my niece, Olivia. In fact, sometimes she does um, f filming for me. She'll hold the camera if I need somebody, <laughs> like, in an emergency. So you filmed uh, the tree, my favourite trees. Yep, you did that one. That'll yeah. do. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so in all families, we're roping everyone yep. in to film. Also, my mum and dad live here as well, but they live in a cottage up by the gate. So the whole family's here, basically. It's it's idyllic that all of them are together. I just think that's the nicest way to live mm -hmm. when the whole of a family can be together. Yeah. It's really beautiful. And it doesn't happen much nowadays when no. people tend to live individually in very small flats. And Well, I never imagined that I'd be um living back with my family yeah like all together but, but it's it just works here so yeah yeah and there, there's space so you don't feel on top of each other have you got a new one is that Nikki? yeah thank you so much nikki oh i mean i i really i i'm honestly speechless thank you nikki and thank you cheryl on your travels back to Leland, if you see something at a charity shop for mummy for her garden room or for her as a surprise we have to stop on the way back tomorrow Okay. In my use might be open, you know. It might be. We could try and see we'll if the one in look, Chateau yeah. Roux is open on the okay, way. Okay, let's have a look, yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, I love the one in Chateau Roux. It's like an it's old amazing. farm. Oh, it's amazing. We're, we're going to try and stop tomorrow. And if we do, and if it's open, then we will vlog it. I look, a paddling pool in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as he's wearing his outfit by it, then a paddling pool is going to work just as well. I think we have to go in soon, don't we? They're waiting for us for the... Um... For dinner, yes. We're, yeah. Please got... visit the Balkans as a series when you travel around. That will be lovely. We both really want to I do that. I think we should do that. Yeah, definitely. I think that should be part of yes. each episode. We'll go to a Balkan. We'll find something. Um, maybe if we've got time, something that we can restore a little bit. We'll do that yes. as well. But something yeah. we can bring back But it has to, to be a bargain, not something expensive. It has to be something like amazing, but mm. very, very cheap. Because you can still find amazingly cheap stuff here. Like, oh, yes, there are yeah. bargains to be yeah. found in France. And something I would really like to do in the future as well is vlogging about the craftsmanship in France because there's mm. extraordinary wallpapers, fabrics still being created today. And I think it would be nice to really focus on that as well. Mm -hmm. So well, we've got so many ideas, but we haven't been able to start filming anything because we weren't together. No. Nope. So, but yeah. we are now. We are now. This yep. is it. We the can team start. Is back together. Um, do they still tax according to the number of windows? No, not no, not anymore. No. I think that's ended a couple of hundred years ago, actually. Yeah. So luckily, it's it's much better now. And thank you, Chantal. Oh. Thank you, thank you, that thank is you. So kind. You're all so kind, really. And you thank you all for being these. here. Thank you so much for your chateau suggestions. Cheers. Cheers for multi generational living. We're going on 15 years with three generations. It is the best, isn't it? It is the best. Hi, oh. <laughs> <laughs> generation number three. Yep. Generation number three. I love Michael's interaction with his family. Lucky to have that darling nephew to snug. Ah, oh, Ernest he is, is so darling. cute. Very cute. Lots more ideas for chateaus to visit as well. Michael, what animals do you have? Um, I have, I did have three chihuahuas until this week, but I've now got two. Um, but I don't, that's it. Just yeah, have, one of your chihuahuas died yeah, last week. Yeah, on, on Sunday. But um, how old was she? She was only eight. Oh. It was um, very sudden. But she, she actually, I had, I used to have her son, and he, that same thing happened to him, and we didn't know what it was. It was just like a something that was, um, I'm not sure what it was, just a, like a sudden death in some some chihuahuas. A genetic I problem. think it was just a genetic problem. Yeah, there was like no signs that it was going to happen, but um, yeah. Mm. Consider visiting farmhouses. Farm for sale. I don't know if we'll be looking at farmhouses. I'm not sure we'll have time, actually. Farmhouses are also something that yeah. I feel the same way about when I see, especially really tiny ones, weirdly. I, th I seem to like both extremes. Yeah. I like um, huge chateaus and then like a tiny, tiny little house yeah. made of stone that's just that, yeah. falling, falling apart. I get the same kind of feeling of mm -hmm. love for that. But I don't think that we'll have time to do both. No. Maybe in future. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. We'll start off with chateaus anyway. 
We still don't know when Percy is coming. That depends on when France and South Africa open their borders. France is opening its borders to the rest of the EU from the 14th of June, I think. But when the EU opens its borders, we don't know. Neither do we know when mm -hmm. South Africa will. But as soon as it's possible, then A road trip movie Percy will come. Road trip movie, yes, that will be that will be what we're going to be doing visiting churches we could actually see what amazing things there are in the areas mm -hmm. of the chateaus that we go to how are you dealing with lockdown with volunteers well at Lalande we only have one volunteer and that's Selma and it's fantastic I mean he just feels like was, part um, of the family was Selma already in France at the time he arrived about three days into lockdown ah uh, okay um so that was a big surprise for all of us because he was already in the camper van on his way oh, and right. had nowhere else to go and had originally planned to come to Lalande yeah. so he still came so then we just quarantined for two weeks well, thankfully but, he did yeah it's been he's... it's been fantastic it's really been so very helpful. great Oh, I miss Marie as well. Someone says your dress reminds me of Marie. Miss her. But I think, fingers crossed, Marie will be back in the autumn. I was there when you bought that dress. Do you remember? In Wren. Yes. Yes, when I bought the red suit. We went to Zara together. We went to Zara, yeah. Yep, I remember. We really need to do a little little we shopping do. trip. Right, I think we, we do need to go in. But yes, I should buy mummy eyeglass straps. <laughs> oh, that's so Thank you. So, oh, what's Olivia's favourite thing about living in a chateau? What's your favourite thing about living in a chateau? Um, um, outside. Outside. She loves outside. It is so beautiful. I wish you could actually see. I wonder if I could try turning this around because the view is amazing. Can you see yeah, what we're looking we're at? That is what we're sitting looking at. it's really very beautiful oh and rob is saying if you haven't visited the church in vic please do so the frescoes are amazing from the 12th century and it is frankly embarrassing that i haven't been to the church Where in is vic it? yet it's next to the georges chateau in noir okay. so we should go and visit both i really really want to do that and i, I can't believe i haven't been to do that yeah we should go together yeah. this is going to be such fun we're going to do so many lovely things do you both have debts from the chateau um, I don't because our mortgage was finally paid off about two years ago at Lalande. So finally, we are now able to move forward from that, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, now I, you're about to have debt on your cottage, but oh, not yeah, yet. Yeah, not yet, though. <laughs> yeah, the view is really beautiful. Where is Mini Michael, Mini Stephanie? Ah! Oh! Mini Stephanie's in my drawer. In and my Mini Michael's on my dressing table back at home. He's always oh, near right. me. I can't believe you put Mini Stephanie in a drawer. She doesn't like it in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen is saying, thank you so much, Jen. You must read the book called Mandy. Oh, sorry. That's my phone. Um, you must read the book called Mandy by Julie Andrews. Okay, I will read that. I'm always looking for new things to read. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm getting anxious because I know that they want, they're waiting for us for the yeah, barbecue. So we're being yeah. really, really rude now. Thank you, everybody. I'm really sorry if I haven't thanked everyone. I've been very bad at actually properly following the chat this time. Mummy is way better at this than I am, I realize now. Um, uh, and Michelle is asking if the B&B &B is no longer operating at the previous capacity, will you still accept volunteers? 100% yes, we'll, we'll always be accepting volunteers at Lalande because it's part of what makes it Lalande. And we will always still do the b, b It might not be at the same capacity, but we will always have people coming from all over the world because that's what makes it home somehow for me. It's yeah. about having other people there. Thank you, all of you, for being here. I'm really sorry that we have to go, but it's been wonderful being here with you. And next yes. video will be out Sunday. But you are having one Sunday as well. Yes, yeah, so there'll be two videos there out two on videos Sunday. Out Sunday, yeah. And um, uh, and well, thanks for having me um in this live chat. I've never done a live chat before, so it's a new experience. But um, it was quite good actually. I it's really I fun. We it. feel like we're chatting to you all. I'm really sorry if I haven't answered anyone's questions, but am I a bit concerned? You're breathing in powder. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I will wear a mask and a hat and everything next time and gloves. I'm I'm just um, you know. I think we get a bit... I like um, to live dangerously sometimes. It's probably not the also, best. Also, <laughs> we, we sometimes, because we live with these old buildings all the time, 
it's easy to become a bit complacent and we, we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's We're so used to living with things falling down around us that we don't think about it. I mean, I must breathe in um, so much dust every day just being in the house. Hmm. So I'm <laughs> just kind of used to it now. <laughs> yeah. He's promising to be much more careful from I will now be. on. I promise. I promise. I saw somebody that said, hello, Olivia. Hello back. <laughs> <laughs> okay well thank you all for joining us very very much it's been fantastic and next time we'll see you from la lande bye <laughs> bye thank you yeah.